start recording and then edit all the bump afterwards. Okay, okay and I'm not showing you the water until, until it's, <laughs> until we talk about it. Great. Okay, we close enough? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Hi. This is Hannah. I thought you might like to meet Hannah. Last week you got to meet Matt, and today it's Hannah's turn. So, welcome Hannah to Team Evertote and Floss Tube. So, uh, where should we start? I have, I have lots to share about you. And in fact, they already know a lot about you because uh, the Floss Tube episodes that I've done where I talked about what's going on and you were away at voice camp. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it was a little more substantial than voice camp I, I did explain I, I, I always every time I would say it it would make me think of that American Pie movie where the one time that one time at band camp, camp. yeah yeah <laughs> so why don't you why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and okay. your background and why you're here well, uh, I'm originally from the east coast of Canada. Um, I grew up in a province called New Brunswick. It's uh, just east of Maine, uh, right next to the U.S. border. Um, and then I moved to Newfoundland, which is a little island um, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I'm off the coast of Canada, and I lived there for nine years which is crazy. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to London, Ontario, uh, which is where we are here. Uh, back in 2019 to do my master's in music. So I just finished that a few months ago and now I'm staying in London for the foreseeable future. I'm starting a master's in library sciences in four weeks. <laughs> I was just saying to Caroline earlier, I was like, school starts in four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> this summer's gone really fast. We've been, uh, we've been busy. We've been really busy. Yeah, it's yeah. been, it's been busy. So if you follow the Evertote Instagram account. Hannah has taken over a lot of the posts over there and so she has been um, putting in some fun posts about what we've been up to around here. It's been it's been busy. We've been preparing and shipping out all of the uh, Modern Folk Embroidery mystery samplers. So those are all at the door and uh, so yeah. when, when Hannah found out how many orders she had to ship out, she did this. Happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Hi. This is Hannah. I thought you might like to meet Hannah. Last week you got to meet Matt, and today it's Hannah's turn. So, welcome Hannah to Team Evertote and Floss Tube. So, uh, where should we start? I have, I have lots to share about you. And in fact, they already know a lot about you because uh, the Floss Tube episodes that I've done where I talked about what's going on and you were away at voice camp <laughs> but you know it was a little more substantial than voice camp I, I did explain and I, I always every time I would say it it would make me think of that American Pie movie where the one time that one time at band camp yeah yeah <laughs> so why don't you why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and okay. your background and why you're here well, uh, I'm originally from the east coast of Canada. Um, I grew up in a province called New Brunswick. It's uh, just east of Maine, uh, right next to the U.S. border. Um, and then I moved to Newfoundland, which is a little island um, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I'm off the coast of Canada, and I lived there for nine years, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to London, Ontario, uh, which is where we are here. Uh, back in 2019 to do my master's in music. So I just finished that a few months ago. And now I'm staying in London for the foreseeable future. I'm starting a master's in library sciences in four weeks. <laughs> I was just saying to Caroline earlier, I was like, school starts in four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> this summer's gone really fast. We've been, uh, we've been busy. We've been really busy. Yeah, it's yeah. been, it's been busy. So if you follow, the Evertote Instagram account. Hannah has taken over a lot of the posts over there and so she has been um, putting in some fun posts about what we've been up to around here. It's been, 
It's been busy. We've been preparing and shipping out all of the uh, Modern Folk Embroidery mystery samplers. So those are all at the door. And uh, so yeah. when, when Hannah found out how many orders she had to ship out, she... quite a set of lungs, hey? <laughs> Yes, Hannah, you are a coloratura soprano. Yes, and um, with with dreams of perhaps you know orchestral librarian in the future, which is why you I think found a, an instant connection with Bart with Bart Dunn, uh, Parker Hop Parker Har Hopper Bart, who has just um, designed our Halloween chart, who is also an orchestral librarian yeah um, he and he's super nice we've yeah. been chatting on instagram and yeah he really is he really is and he's got a cool job so but you know not that i'm in a hurry or anything to to see the back of your <laughs> hair hannah has very quickly become an integral part of day-to-day um, -day operations around here so if you ever have any questions about an order that you're waiting here about or anything like that hannah has her very own evertote email address which is it is um hannah dot evertote at gmail.com and it's hannah with an h and i'll pop it in the description box down below so um a few months back i think it was time is like both standing still and flying it seems like just yesterday was may but it was a few months ago that the, the four of us sat down and i taught you guys how to cross stitch yeah right? yeah that was like back in June. Yeah, so I, I do get asked whether or not you and Matt and Arzu have have stuck with it. And <laughs> the short answer is no. <laughs> Probably because I haven't done my job well enough in encouraging, you know, sort of that to develop. However, um, Hannah, unbeknownst to me, in her spare time a week or so ago, um, started designing. <laughs> So she, you know, Hannah works with the floss pretty much all day long. So she's gotten to know the colors really well. And she started designing and she came up, she came to work the next day and she said, oh, I designed this, this little chart and it's adorable. It is adorable. So you, you even have your own design name name. So you yeah. are, um, I've called it hands, little cross stitch treats, little treats. They're adorable. And so the first one is you can actually find it on the website. We've got it listed at, on, on Evertote as a free PDF download. And if you've purchased any of the kits in the last, the floss sets in the last little while from Evertote, many of you will actually have these colors in your stash already. Um, and I'm gonna pop in a photo right here of, of mm. Hannah's chart. And I started stitching it last night and it is adorable. So I actually finished the water. So there it is. I just had a, you might recognize this fabric, Hannah. Oh yes. So this was a scrap I had laying around. And so I've stitched, I stitched the water. So that is Delft. That's Delft all stitched up. So the water is done and I've gotten a, a just a little bit of a start on the sunset. And it is adorable. And you've already got your next one yep. plotted out. Yeah. So I think we'll be, can I, can I tell them what it's going to be? Yeah, go Okay, ahead. so there's going to be a coffee cup coming up very yeah. shortly. And I've seen, I've seen the, the mock-up of it and it is cute. And so these are just really little bite-sized treats. I think that's a great word for them. What is it, 35 square? 35 by 35? It's 33 by 34. Okay. Just teeny tiny. <laughs> And I, you know, you could stitch this on any count fabric, really. So I just envision when you come out with them, I'll stitch them and we'll, we'll make little teeny pin cushions or something. Yeah. Or little, you know, little, little framed, little teeny tiny tidbits. They're like so Like a cute. cross stitch quilt. Yeah. That would be really cute. That's adorable. So thank you. I really, really. I know, right? It's so cute. Yeah, it really is. And Delft is a great color for water because of the the variegation in there. It's just really perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Super cute. So the four colors that Hannah chose 
were Delft Creamsicle, uh, Sunflower, and Bebe. Really pretty. Yeah, that Delft is really nice. And that's a nice combo. Good yeah. work. Good <laughs> job. Yeah, I like that. So, um, let's see, what else? You, you have lots of duties around here, so. I have so many, yeah, I, <laughs> I print the orders, I pack the orders, I ship the orders, I wind floss, I take pictures of yep. lots of stuff. All the pictures on the website, Hannah does that, the descriptions on the website, social media stuff that needs to be done, pretty much anything that needs to be done, and she keeps me organized. So, many of my friends in Flossdeep land know me very well. Yeah. that my thoughts are circular and Hannah seems to have this an innate innate skill where she's usually one or two steps ahead of me and, <laughs> and is usually ready for that next thing that's you know about to come I think she's prepared for all eventualities so it's great having you here yeah I love being here <laughs> we have fun don't we yeah we, ha yeah. we, we have lots of laughs and yeah. lots of donuts <laughs> <laughs> they're the they're donuts we, we like to fuel up on donuts. Maybe I'll have to do a donut chart next. <laughs> I think that's good to go with the coffee cup. Yeah. That would be a good pairing. Yeah, that would be good. Well, I'm going to leave you today with another clip of Hannah from Voice Camp because she worked really hard in her opera workshop and she has she has shared with me so that I can share with you a really wonderful clip of her singing. Um, she worked really hard for this three weeks in this opera workshop, and so this was the, the final culminating recital, correct? Yeah. And so the piece that you are performing here, why don't you tell them a little bit about what it is and where it's from? Are you using it's the from the opera or? one, yeah. Okay. I, we're, you're going to sing us out here today. So. <laughs> All right, so um, the um, aria is called Monica's Waltz, and it's from um, Minotti's uh, opera. It's called The Medium. Um, Minotti was an Italian-born American composer. He um, went to the Curtis Institute in Pennsylvania. For all of you Pennsylvanians out there, I know there's lots of you who order from us. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's a neat little opera. It's about an old woman who's a scam artist who convinces other people that she's like a psychic medium. And there's lots of spooky things that happen. Um, Monica is her daughter, uh, and so she's singing about her and her sort of brother, sort of not in their weird relationship. So that's sort of the, what the song's about. <laughs> Sounds like a typical opera that you start in one place and you end up in a completely different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoy. I know I sure do. And thanks again. Thanks, Hannah. Thank you. And I will see everybody on uh, at some point next week. I know I'm well overdue for a longer floss tube catch up. There hasn't been a whole lot of stitching in my my day to day because, well, we've been pretty busy. Yeah. So, but all really good things and lots of good things coming up. So I actually think that next week I might give you uh, a fair sneak peek into what we've been working on that's coming up in the next three months because it's a lot. And, um, well, maybe you'll be as excited about it as we are, so. We're very excited. <laughs> so excited. It is, it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. real, it's some really great stuff coming up. Okay, so on that note, I hope you're well, I hope that you're safe, and I hope that you have some stitching and some crafting to see you through the weekend. And we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>